mean, you know, everybody's going to you know, be buzzing about it and stuff like that, but you got to, you know, take the same approach you've had in the last seven games. So uh, I don't think anything can change, you know. Uh, as far as practice, I think it'll be a higher tempo. Everybody's excited and stuff like that. But, you know, as far as, you know, changing little things, I don't think we, we'll do that. Does it help you that you played this team twice and played in that stadium and had some success at four? Oh, definitely. Just the experience playing in a, you know, big time games like that, and the only difference is we're seven zero, they're seven zero. So, you know, it's a, a lot bigger game than it was, you know, last year or, you know, even two years ago. Yeah. Obviously, you guys are severe underdogs, at least according to the odds makers. Does that motivate you at all? Have you guys talked about that at all? I mean, just, you know, you just gotta go out there and play. Uh, you know, any team can be any team, any given day. Uh, and I mean, we're just going to go out there and play, and we're going to execute it. I think it's going to be, you know, about who makes the least amount of mistakes. And I think it's going to come down to uh, those things like that. Alabama obviously does a lot of things well, but so do you guys. Have you guys pinpointed or talked about some advantages, strengths you may have over that team? Well, you know, we, we're still, um, you know, scouting them and stuff like that, and this will be our first practice. So, you know, we're getting there with the coaches and go over things like that. You completed about 68% of your passes last three games. Do you feel like you've hit in a groove, hitting a little bit, of, hitting your stride a little bit? No, I think we've we've gotten comfortable. You know, offensive line is doing a great job. Running backs are doing good. Wide receiver are catching the ball. So, you know, for me, it's just you know putting the ball in, in positions for uh, you know people to make plays. Yeah, you know, you had some some accuracy issues. You seem to have resolved those. And how do you think that that, that kind of came about? I think it's just you know playing in games. I mean, that was our seventh game. Uh, over time, and you get used to you know the guys how they're going to run their routes and stuff like that. You're averaging about seven, eight, nine, ten guys a game catching a ball. Yeah, I mean, that just lets you know uh, we have a lot of guys who can really make plays for us. It's not just one person. Uh, you know, it's a team effort, and uh, we're showing that this year. I know you haven't watched film yet, but you look at their, their defense, number one in the nation, and number one with like five major categories. Uh, when you look at that, do you, I mean, obviously it's a challenge, but do you feel confident enough that you're going to be able to go in there and kind of almost break the code, so to speak? I mean, definitely. It's going to be a tough game. They have a really good defense. Uh, you know, but it's just going to go back to how we play Mississippi State football, our offense, executing, staying on the field on third down situations, stuff like that, and just continue to move the ball. Tim Brewster said you're good at staring down the barrel, as he put it, you know, under pressure and staying in there. Is that going to be a little bit tougher to do against that Alabama defense, different kind of level there? I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I feel like we've done good so far. Uh, we've played a lot of tough teams, so we're just going to go in there and keep executing and doing what we do best. Do you think you and A.J. McCarron are similar in any way? I mean, obviously the stats are pretty similar, but are you guys similar at all? I know you know them a little bit. I mean, I, I, I feel like we've done a pretty good job in leading our teams. I mean, we're both 7-0. I mean, that's all you ask for is, you know, you know, a quarterback to go out there and lead the team, and he's done that, and I've done that. So in that aspect, yes. How does it help this year for you to kind of be the guy quarterback and get the most snaps? as far as to help you stay in rhythm and not be in and out of games? Uh, just confidence level. Uh, just, you know, being out there, Coach Mullen trusts me to, you know, call plays and, you know, make checks at the line of scrimmage. So just getting there and, you know, getting the groove and stuff like that has helped me out a lot. Alabama's been good defensively, you know, for a while, but Mississippi State hasn't performed as well offensively as you guys have this season. How different is it going into Tuscaloosa with an offense that you guys know can score some points? Yeah, I think, you know, a year, years ago or a couple of years ago, we didn't do a really good job of, you know, taking care of the ball and stuff like that. And, you know, and uh, you know, last year, even when I played, I didn't do a, a good job of staying, you know, in the game on third down situations, stuff like that. And we didn't convert on third down. So, uh, you know, it's just going to go back to us playing our style of offense and, you know, executing and just doing the little things. Tyler, what specifically do you do you take from having success in hostile environments like at an LSU or at an Alabama in your career? I mean, you just know what to expect. Um, you're not going to go in there and be like, wow, I didn't think this was going to happen. You already know, so you kind of can prepare for it. You know, you, you mentioned the turnovers. You've only got one interception. McCarron's got none. Y'all are first in the country in turnover margin. They're second. It's one of those games – First team to make a mistake by me, the one who loses. Yeah, definitely. It's going to come down who the game's going to come down to who makes the least amount of mistakes. And uh, you know, uh, both teams have done an outstanding job so far this year in um, eliminating those mistakes. You growing up a Mississippi State fan, right down the road. What do you think life will be like if you guys go in there and beat number one Alabama? I mean, to me and the guys, you know, they are number one, but uh, you know, it's just another game on our schedule, another game you have to to win. You know, go in there. And, 
you win that game, you're 8-0, and, and then, you, you know, you look at the rest of the schedule. But, you know, they are the next team on our schedule that we have to play, and they just happen to be number one. Can you start that you, you haven't played anybody? Is that any source of motivation for the team? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, we played really well um, in our past games. But, uh, you know, we only can play who's on our schedule and stuff like that and, and execute and win. Um, at the end of the day, that's, that's your goal is to go out there and win. doesn't matter how you do it, but that's the goal. There's a sense of irony, Tyler, that if you hadn't have been here, you might have been in Alabama. Do you think about that at all? Uh, no, I mean, and I could have been anywhere else. I mean, but, you know, I came to Mississippi State and we're 7-0, and this is the reason I came to State. How much, you of, a push, how much of a late push did Saban make for you? Uh, he made a pretty good push, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, this was home, and you know, I, I'm glad I made my decision to come here. Thanks, man. Thank you.